Gov. Cuomo issued an order Friday forcing upstate facilities to hand over hundreds of unused ventilators to overburdened city hospitals as New York saw its largest daily jump in coronavirus deaths. The executive order allows the National Guard to take ventilators and protective equipment from health care facilities and deploy them in the New York City area, where hospitals are facing severe shortages of the life-saving devices. I'm not going to let people die because we didn't redistribute ventilators, Cuomo declared. Am I seizing ventilators? No, I'm claiming excess equipment to save lives. The move came as the deadly respiratory illness claimed the lives of 562 New Yorkers overnight, the worst one-day total since the outbreak began, bringing the state total to 2,935. Almost 15,000 people in the state are currently hospitalized due to coronavirus, the most critical of whom rely on ventilators to breathe. The Greater New York Hospital Association, which represents over 160 hospitals and health systems around New York and in other states, said Cuomo was pursuing life-saving measures in real time during an unprecedented public health emergency. The influx of COVID-19 patients is straining the ability of already overburdened hospitals in the city and surrounding suburbs, Mayor de Blasio warned at a news conference rife with wartime references. De Blasio called on President Trump and the federal government to put more boots on the ground to deal with the onslaught of cases that will are expected in the coming days. Our military has not been brought into the fight in any way near the way they could be, the mayor said. It's time for the commander-in-chief to give the order. We're fighting a war. The five boroughs will need 45,000 new medical personnel in traditional hospitals and in the makeshift medical centers like those that have popped up in Central Park and at the Jacob Javits Convention Center, he said. De Blasio described Sunday as D-Day and said the city would see the numbers of dead and infected soar to unimaginable heights. It's not just one thing we need at this point, he added. We have to pull together all the pieces. Possibly the toughest part of this equation is the personnel. New York's need for medical professionals and ventilators was made clear a day earlier when Cuomo said the state only had about six days' worth of machines left. Trump invoked the Federal Defense Production Act on Thursday in an effort to speed up the production of nearly 100,000 ventilators. However, House Democrats said federal emergency management agency officials had told them most of those machines won't be ready until June, adding gasoline to the flames fanned by critics who argue that Trump should have activated the DPA weeks ago. As the mad dash for ventilators continued, New York health authorities reported that the state had more than 102,000 confirmed cases of coronavirus as of Friday morning, a record 24-hour increase of 10,482 infections since Thursday. Meanwhile, New York City's coronavirus death toll climbed by 305 people in 24 hours with nearly more than 56,000 confirmed cases across the five boroughs Friday night, health data shows. The city had 56,289 confirmed cases of COVID-19 as of 4.30 p.m. Friday, an increase of 6,582 from the same time Thursday, according to data from the health department. As of Friday, 1,867 people had died from coronavirus in the city, a 19.5% jump from the day before. Queens is still the epicenter of the city's outbreak with the most deaths and confirmed cases of all five boroughs. Cuomo said earlier this week that as many as 16,000 New Yorkers could die before the pandemic is over, citing a study from the Gates Foundation. Others are stepping up to help the city. Cuomo said more than 20,000 out-of-state medical professionals have volunteered to help out the Big Apple and the New England Patriots delivered 300,000 masks Friday to the Javits Center Field Hospital. The state is taking other steps to combat the dearth of ventilators, including repurposing other respiratory support machines, canceling elective procedures and working with companies that can import the machines from China. New York has also asked hospitals across the state to take inventory of all personal protective equipment, including masks, gowns and gloves, and voluntarily contribute what they can to a state stockpile that could then be distributed as needed. The executive order signed Friday gives the governor the power to make that mandatory. 
Some upstate Republicans bristled at the idea of forcing private facilities to hand over ventilators and other equipment, but Cuomo said the devices would be returned or hospitals would be reimbursed by the state. The roles could also be reversed in the near future, he added. Right now the numbers in upstate New York are lighter than the numbers in downstate New York, but that is going to change, the governor said. You're going to see that wave move through the state. We're going to shift resources all across the state to whatever place has that need at that time. Latest coronavirus updates. Click here for our roundup of the most important developments from NYC and around the world.